What's up guys, Jonathan Stuckey here. Uh, we're going to do a quick video on chine walking, uh, what you can do to kind of get through it and uh, push your boat a little bit further than maybe you're comfortable with. I've got a couple requests, um, some guys saying, you know, at 67 or so their, uh, their boat starts to chine walk and they just can't, they can't get past it. So uh, if you've owned a couple boats, a couple different brands, you probably have one that chine walked. Uh, this boat is a Nitro Z20 2016 model at about 67 miles an hour, 66. It starts to walk on you. Uh, I had a Triton TR20X that had uh, about 64 and started to walk and it got worse and worse as it went. Uh, finally one day I just, I trimmed up and pushed through it. And, made myself learn how to drive it and was running that boat 76 77 mile an hour so we're gonna try to get some footage today show you some things try to show you what the boat's doing uh, and what you can do to correct, correct it alright so once again Micro Z20 just get the pro like this five uh, a lot of people ask me my prop to pad height tell you the truth I don't know it changes depending on the load of the boat and uh, water conditions but we're gonna run it up just a little bit about where no, most people would run a manual jack plate uh, and we're just gonna leave it there and see what happens slam full of gas and the live wells are full but uh, we got up to about 70 and from about 65 66 on you see the boat start to walk and weave a wobble a little bit back and forth I didn't put my hands on the steering wheel I just kind of let it do its own thing um, if we were running any faster it would have got out of hand and you could lose control of the boat what you can do to fix that until you can make those little corrections is don't let out of the gas all of a sudden when you feel like you feel like you're gonna lose it. Stay in the gas, trim down until it stops walking, regain control, and then start coming back up with your trim. Now this time we'll uh, we'll make a pass and uh, I'll make the corrections as we go. So on that pass, as the boat started to fall off pad in one direction or the other, you saw all I did was give it just just a little touch. You're not you're not moving the wheel a whole bunch. All you're doing is just giving it a little touch, just bumping it back the opposite way from where the nose is trying to go to bring it back up on pad. Hopefully that'll help you guys out. If you have any questions, want to go a little deeper into it. Feel free to send me an email, direct message, whatever, and uh, I'll see if I can help you out. 